Morning everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. First video from my newly built greenhouse, so a very exciting day. Um, in the background, got the chrysanthemums, and I uh, thought I'd just do a, a really quick video on how to get your chrysanthemums ready for winter period. Okay, so already done the John Rileys, which have um, sort of really good uh, deep red flower to them, excellent for cut flower. And you can see by uh, only cutting back now, they've already started going into this um, shooting mode, which is good. And say so now I've got a greenhouse, so you can come in here rather than in the dining room. Um, here we've got uh, Hanbury, so you can see it's still got a bit of a bloom to it, but again, these produce a large, um, bright, well, kind of like a burnt orange flower, good for uh, cut flower or for showing. And I've only got three plants of these. I started with one at the beginning of the season, which I bought, uh, took some cuttings. Now I've got three and the aim is to get these numbers up to sort of 10 or a dozen plants come the springtime, which won't be too difficult, but I set the target low. I mean, if I can get 20 plants, that'd be great. So first things first, whilst they've got a bit of flower on, get your labels in. So finish writing your labels for all your pots because once they're cut down, they all look the same. First thing, let's get that done. Right, labels in. Next job, basically you wanna cut all the ties from the canes uh, or stakes, however you've been growing them. So just whip the canes out, stick them into your storage area. And because I use the jute twine, that can actually go into your compost heap, that'll break down quite nicely. And then all I tend to do is cut to a slightly outward facing bud, bud about three inches above ground level. Like so, and roughly like so. So we'll, that'll give us a little bit of structure still, and then you just want to make sure that you strip off all outstanding leaves and clean off any leaves that are within the pot. And finally, I just tend to knock them out the pot and then that way it gives you a chance to have a quick inspection over the root ball, uh, essentially check in for signs of vine weevil or in that case, just there, slug eggs. So you can just whip off uh, any of those and you know that the plant's gonna be nice and safe and clean over the winter period. Okay, and that's it. It's really as quick and simple as that. Uh, all, uh, all set out ready. And yes, you could uh, use some of the cut-off sections for potential cutting material this time of year. But to be honest, um, you're only taking it from old woody stems and quite frankly, come the springtime, all of these will make better plants, which you'll then either be able to use as uh, straight cuttings or by um, division of the actual plant. So for the time being, these are the first first couple of uh, varieties or first three varieties. Uh, I've just got a couple more that I need to get done, but um, essentially that's overwintering. And uh, just by being in a slightly protected environment means that they're gonna survive the winter. You won't have problems with rotting and more importantly, you'll get some early growth for uh, those all important spring cuttings. So I told you it was a quick video, I hope you liked it though. Uh, any questions then please uh, send them over to me and I'll do my best to answer for you. Uh, in the meantime, if you like what I'm doing, please uh, continue to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos that I'm doing and uh, have fun, you know, get going in your gardening, preparing for next year. Till next time, take care and I'll see you soon.